and the Accord with a 2.4 liter engine. The engine is misfiring, it has the Accord P0301, but it could be any other cylinder, it could be any other year, any other model, uh, any other manufacturer, any misfiring, uh, and any cylinder will be treated the same. Cylinder number one right there is misfiring, as you can see. Well, cylinder, well, this has more than one cylinder misfiring. Cylinder number four is also mis, kind of misfiring. It has no cut for cylinder number four, but it has a small miss right there. Small misfire. One, two, three, four. Ten millimeter bolt. And all you do is lift this up. Ten millimeter bolt here. Now this is cylinder number one, by the way. Right there. This one is gonna come here. I'm gonna put it here. And this is uh, number one. I'm gonna put it right there. Here. This is number one, and I'm gonna put it here for now. All right. Uh, they don't look bad at all. I'm gonna exchange it here. Not that bad either. All right. All right. That's the misfire cylinder number one. Still. Cylinder number four is not doing anything, but it kind of has very small misfire before. Okay, now, for whatever I see here, the live data, the misfire has not moved at all. It keeps doing it in cylinder number one. So it means ignition coil pack and a spark plug should be okay. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna be removing this, this cover. This is injector number one, and, and I'm gonna be exchanging them. Now it's uh, your own decision to either check injectors um, or, or either do a compression test. It's up to you. You can do one thing first or the other. And I'm gonna be checking the ohms and the pins, uh, pin number one and number two, and the injectors. I'm supposed to get between 10 and 13 ohms. If I get those readings, according to Honda, the Injector should be okay. 10.8. Well, that is good. 10.8. That is good. Uh, the injector is within the aspects of um, the specification from Honda. So, however, that doesn't tell you if uh, the injector is clogged. Uh, it could be dirty. The ohms is only with the electrical part. It's a part of the specification from Honda, from the manufacturer in this case. But it won't tell you if it's clogged or not. I'm still gonna take the fuel rail off to take the injector off and I'm gonna exchange it with the number two. And 10 millimeter bolt here. And another 10 here. And another ground here. Another, this is another 10 millimeter bolt here. The other two injectors right there, and now the fuel rail. Now this is 12 millimeter nut and another 12 here. These are for the fuel rail, by the way. This is the other one here. And now I gotta disconnect uh, the fuel rail from here, and I should have done that before. So right there, some gas spill. And now what you gotta do is uh, pull the fuel rail up and pull it evenly. Now I did not show on camera, I cleaned some dust with a very small uh, air pump, very small, uh, because usually there is a lot of dust garbage when you take the injectors off, then that garbage goes inside the engine, so be careful with that. Oh, oops. Uh, fuel rail. This is the lock here for each um, injector. You can place this, I'm gonna use this 99 cents tool. Just look at the position that it is. It goes only one way. You have to pull it straight. Ah. This is the one that is gonna go here. Right there, right here. Okay, this, remember, this goes here. Once you take this out, you have to visually inspect it. Uh, also, you can clean them. Very little, very little. And carefully 
carefully just lubricate the the o-ring here and the reason is because you don't take the chance to bind it here and it goes inside easily so this comes here and the one that was here goes right there and now do the same again very little do not put your finger beyond this point here right there so make sure you don't make contact with oil here on this part not at all just the ring here I'm gonna turn on the vehicle and cylinder number two misfiring right now okay let's see let's go up a little bit cylinder number two misfiring the misfire moved to cylinder number two that tells me that the injector is having problems either it's clogged or uh, most likely clogged injector number two oops I'm not gonna do any cleaning or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with uh this is not from the dealer. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. New fuel injector. I already uh, put the bolt and everything back here. Right there, I'm gonna prime it. Let's see, cylinder number two, right there. The car is running so smoothly right now. Very smooth, not shaking, nothing. And no misfire at all. Car is running so smoothly, no problem. The injector was the problem. I did not want to try to clean it. I like to uh, take chances. As I said since the beginning, cylinder number four has also a misfire, but it's a very small misfire. Uh, I've been having the car running for about 10 minutes. And the engine still runs smoothly, but from time to time, I can tell the miss, but very small, almost not noticeable. I mean the PCM does not trigger this code. Maybe too small. It's, it has not detected yet. And cylinder number four, but very small. The car is not shaking at all. It's not nothing. It's running very smooth. But as I said, for cylinder number four, the PCM has not triggered any uh, any code for that because that's uh, miss. The miss is too small. All right now. If you still cannot find a problem, this might help you a little bit. So this is injector number one here. So we're gonna start here by jumping the, the SES line, or you can call it service check signal. That's what it's called. That's what these letters stand for. Now, turn the ignition switch on, measure the voltage between body ground and an end, and the appropriate uh, PCM connector. In this case, number one here, and number five, you can see and pin number five if you find battery voltage then that should that should be good and if not it's telling you where to go here to step 32 which is this one here and disconnect the injector uh two pin connector with the one that you have a problem with turn the ignition switch on measure the uh measure the voltage between the two uh pin connector terminal one and body ground is this here this uh pin and and the connector of the injector and battery ground is there battery voltage if there is battery voltage then go to step uh, 36 which is this one here turn the ignition switch to lock check a little between uh let's see this one here all right this step here is this one here check a little between battery ground and of uh, and the pcm connector terminal of the cylinder you're having problem with again i'm having problem with uh number one let's go here is there canoodily? If you have canoodily, then you have to repair the problem on the wires. All right. Here are uh, the the wire the wire diagrams. Let's go to the next step here. 
check the check anul check for anulir between the between the appropriate two pin connector terminal number two and the PCM connector terminal of the uh, whatever you have a problem with. Uh, again, I'm having a problem with number one, but in this case you're gonna see it on number two as you can see. Just follow the instructions here; it's very easy. Is there canulili? If you have canulili, then go to step uh, 39. If not, you have to repair the problem on the wires. Now, this is the last step here. At the injector, measure the resistance at the two pin connector, um, terminal one and two here, as you can see, terminal one and two. And you're supposed to get uh, between 10 and 13 ohms. Now, this, don't, don't go by this. Uh, that's only part of the injector. That if this part is good, it doesn't mean the injector is good. If the injector is clogged, dirty, stuff like that, and that's why it's misfiring, and it still can have these ohms. So don't go by this. So you uh, just take some precautions, all right? So I hope this instruction uh, help you a little bit. And this is the, the wire diagram for the ignition coil packs here. This is the fuse packs under the hood and the engine. As you can see, this is the a big wire here that comes here. This is the main relay and the, and the fuse box. It comes here. This is the wire, the color of the wire. And uh, this is hot at all times. It goes to fuse uh, 13, 15 amp fuse. And let me show you the wire, uh, the ignition coil box here. Right here, this is the PCM. This is better to view it on a laptop and a phone is too small, a big screen like a TV or something like that. The wire number two, a niche of the ignition coil box is the same color, it's black, as you can see. Black, black. Also, wire number three is the same. On the other side here, as you can see, black, white, black, white, see? They all the same, but the wire number one changes color on all of them, on each of them. See, brown, uh, white, blue, blue, red, and yellow, green. So just to mention that, uh, initial coil pack number one, number two, number three, number four. These are the, the pins, uh, pin 18, pin 17, uh, pin 16, 15 here, and the PCM. So just uh, you can have a clue. Now this is a ground here, ground uh, one or two. I don't know the location of this ground. I, I will have to look at it. So hope um, this help a little bit.